Mr. Khan Yintong, President of ISCA, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to everyone. Thank you for inviting me to the ISCA PAIB conference. It's a pleasure to join you for this virtual event. If you Google the internet and search for past predictions about what 2020 would hold, you will find all sorts of really interesting ones. Some are close, that we would have self-driving cars, not quite there yet, but we're in the works. Some are way off. One prediction was that by 2020, computers would be invisible. And some are just bizarre. In the 1900s, Dr. Richard Clement Lucas predicted that humans will become a one-toed species on the basis that our small toes are being used less and less while the great toe is developing at an astonishing rate. An article titled 12 Reasons 2020 Will Be an Awesome Year discusses predictions of a robotic moon base, microchips in the brain controlling neural activity, and commercial space industries. None of them mentioned a tiny microbe that would dramatically change the lives of nearly 8 billion people around the globe today. There was only one line from that article which was totally and completely accurate, the one which said, 2020 is going to be one heck of a year. Our world has been upended by COVID-19. Lives have been affected. At the time of this recording, there are more than 16 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally. And this number continues to rise daily. Europe and Asia are bracing themselves for second and third waves of COVID-19 infections. Some countries are considering reimposing partial or total lockdowns. Economies have been affected. Lockdowns and border controls have brought economic activities to a grinding halt and affected growth. Internationally, the International Monetary Fund, or IMF's June 2020 forecast, project global growth to be a negative 4.9% in 2020. That is a 1.9 percentage point drop compared to earlier growth forecasts in April 2020. In Singapore, we also expect significant contractions to 2020 GDP. Societies too have been affected. Families have been separated. Self-isolation and social distancing have impacted the elderly and vulnerable disproportionately. And globally, mental health cases are on the rise. With the trajectory of the pandemic still unclear, the COVID-19 situation remains volatile. The road to recovery looks to be long and tough, but there will be eventual recovery as countries reopen their economies. As we cast our sights ahead, we should remain positive. The lessons from past crises all indicate that new opportunities await the proactive and the agile. According to research by McKinsey, the top quintile of companies extended their lead over their peers in terms of cumulative total returns to shareholders by more than sevenfold over the next eight years after the 2008 financial crisis. There are many success stories of companies that have used crisis as a rallying call for change and transformation. So, for example, Alibaba used the opportunities from the SARS epidemic to transform its business model from B2B, business to business, to B2C, business to consumer, through Taobao. Similarly, startups like Uber and Airbnb also seized new opportunities from the 2008 global financial crisis to set up their businesses. They are now household names. The services sector in particular is well positioned to rebound from COVID-19 through innovation and digitalization. I'm therefore very encouraged to see businesses and accountants adapting to the volatile times. Many businesses have innovated. Zook and Razor recently introduced cloud clubbing in response to COVID-19 challenges, allowing partygoers to party and club from home. Similarly, accountancy firms like Kong Lim and Partners are also pushing forward with transformation by using robotic process automation to automate their audit processes. Many accountants are also charting a new path forward in their careers by investing in upskilling and reskilling. So 
Let me share the stories of two who have done so. First, Miss Quick. Miss Quick was a homemaker for 17 years. She decided to leverage the professional conversion program for internal auditors to join Portcullis Singapore in late 2018. Today, she is responsible for helping Portcullis Singapore improve their processes and systems. Second, Ms. Liao. Ms. Liao leveraged ISCA's infrastructure and project finance qualification to extend her finance knowledge and gain an in-depth understanding of the infrastructure sector. This prepared her for her new role in advising her company on sustainable green business opportunities. So we should push ahead with these efforts and leverage on Singapore's reputation as a trusted and business-friendly financial hub to position ourselves as a hub for high-valued services. Let me also say something about two qualities that are needed to get ahead on the road to recovery, adaptability and partnership management. So first, adaptability. COVID-19 has accelerated the rate of technology penetration and adoption across a range of industries. One estimate by McKinsey suggests that COVID-19 has vaulted us forward by five years in consumer and business digital adoption. With businesses increasingly investing in new technologies, competitive advantage in tomorrow's business environment will be determined by one's use of digital assets. Risk management of these assets will also be increasingly important. You know even better than I that as business partners, accountants need to evolve with these changes. It's imperative that you stay adaptable in order to provide value to businesses. And this means three things. One, keeping your skills primed and your knowledge up to date with the latest changes in the markets. Two, becoming business translators, meaning people who understand innovation and who can inform businesses on the benefits of automation and find ways to foster growth while minimizing disruption. And three, keeping the accountancy function up to date with the latest technologies in the market, for example, by using artificial intelligence to supplement business judgments in financial forecasting. Second, partnership management. COVID-19 has also heightened the need for partnerships both within and outside of the organization. Within the organization, there is a need to be agile, which in turn means a need for more cross-functional partnerships and collaborations. And outside the organization, there is an increased need for cross-sectoral partnerships as businesses search for new opportunities in the adjacencies between sectors. And we're already seeing some of this. For example, in the legal services sector, some firms have been expanding their suite of services into new areas like intellectual property, environmental, social and governance or ESG matters. Shuklin and Bob is one example that comes to mind. I therefore urge all of you to maintain a spirit of collaboration so that you can capture the opportunities both for yourselves and the clients you advise. I'm glad that many within the accountancy industry have been supporting accountants in their journey of transformation. For example, Nexia LLP has been training Nexia staff on the use of technologies like artificial intelligence and robotic process automation in the workplace. Similarly, since the circuit breaker, BDO LLP has also been increasing the frequency of staff training to support their personal development. Please continue to support your staff in their development. It will benefit them, but it will also benefit you. The government and our partners will walk this journey with you. The budgets have many broad-based measures that you can take advantage of. We have set up an Emerging Stronger Task Force to refresh, reimagine, and reset our economic strategies and to stay economically resilient in the post-COVID-19 world. We have set up the National Jobs Council to help 
PMETs and workers to stay employed. The Singapore Accountancy Commission, or SAC, has been working with ISCA and other professional bodies and economic agencies to create a vibrant sectoral training ecosystem. Accountants can look forward to the Refresh Skills Framework for Accountancy, which includes information about the 18 emerging jobs in accountancy and the skills needed to access those jobs. Accountants can also leverage on the Professional Conversion Programs, or PCPs for short, for management accountants and internal auditors to upskill, reskill, and take on new roles in accountancy. The PCPs have recently been extended to support more mid-career individuals. So I urge accountants to leverage on this support and stay committed to this journey of transformation. With this, let me conclude. Even though the current economic conditions are uncertain, we must use this time to prepare for recovery. Press on with innovation and growth. Use this crisis to spark transformation and renewal. Plan well for the future and position yourselves to seize the opportunities that are already there and the many more that will come. Thank you very much and have a fruitful conference ahead.